Everybody and welcome back and today we're going to be making a 2d top-down movement shooter kind of thing it's a movement where you move a 2d character around from a top-down view so to start off you want to create a 2d object and a sprite and you can just go here and choose any of them you don't have to do this exactly because you can entirely because you can just screenshot this or whatever and just turn it into that I'm gonna increase this and just make five, and then also this. I'm gonna add a box collider, even if it's not really useful today. And then also a rigid body 2D. And while we're at this, you want to either turn the gravity scale down to zero, or you want to change this to kinematic. I'm just gonna go with dynamic because it's just something I do all the time. And then after you got this all set up, you're ready to code. So what you want to start off with, you want to start off with a script called controller, or anything you want. And you can just wait until this loads. Okay, so after this loads, you want to just delete these two because we don't need them at all. And we want to just create a few variables. So we want to start off with a float variable called speed. then you want to reference never mind um you need a private vector two variable called move velocity and then you want to reference the rigid body and just call that rb and at void start which you want to just type out you're going to put it rb equals get component rigid body 2d and then parentheses, hang on, parentheses, and then semicolon, just to end it up. And void update, you want to tell them what move velocity is. So we're going to create a new float, move input, and put it equal to, oh wait, never mind, that's something else. So you want to put in vector2, move input, equals new vector2. Input dot get axis horizontal and then input dot get axis vertical. Just make sure you right, spell this all right. Vertical. All right. And then you want to put a semicolon in here to reference to show them what move velocity is. You want to put move velocity is equal to move input dot normalized times speed. And that's all you need. So in void fixed update, you want to just put in I'll put RB dot move position and then in here I'll put in the RB dot position plus move velocity times time dot fixed delta time. So that all all everyone who uses this program will run the same way and it'll run smoothly smoothly without any other like lag or anything like that and right now if you play right now it will be kind of floaty because you currently get access so if you want to make choppy movements so i'll show you guys what it's like if there is only if you just put it like that so you can just wait for this load Now in this control script, you'll see that there's a speed variable. I'm just set it to like five, and you're good to go. And if you we do, don't add anything after the in, get in, input docket axis, this is what's gonna happen. So if I click W right now, you'll see it gets a little floaty. It's a bit unresponsive, and we don't want that. We want some kind of like choppy movement that will stop the second you let go of the mount the button. So you want to click get axis raw and then get access for all over here there we go and that should make it all choppy and that doesn't mean you can only go up 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 down left right so you can go up down left right right you can go horizontal it doesn't matter it's always there so that marks the end to this quick and 
easy 2D top-down movement tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to click that like button and subscribe. Um, you guys can join the Discord server to know other information, like what's happening to the channel, what's happening, everything like that. If you do want to be even more of a kind of supporter, you can go to Patreon and support me financially there. And I'd be happy to give you some extra rewards if you are the first one to be um, supporting me. And until next time, I will see you guys in the next video.